In the category of crazy idea number 79, um, I realized in the process of producing a message series based on life change, what I realized was is that we each one, every single one of us, has to go through a certain process. And God ordains the process. It's not up to us. And the first part of that process is I have to confess my sin. I've got to actually open up and I have to say my sin. It's got to be spoken. If my life's really going to change, I need to share my failures, my obstacles, um, my shameful moments. I've got to share that with somebody else. The Bible says confess your sins one with another. And so, so in the process of doing that, I realized that for me to help you and to help our church process the mistakes in our life, to, to get past where we're at, to, to cause change to happen, what I, I come to understand was is that I need to be the facilitator of that. I've got to be the first mover. And so inside of me, I'm trying to stir up enough courage right this minute to tell you what I, I'm, I've decided to do. Um, October the 9th, Thursday night, I'm working with Albert Norman, um, who is over our Celebrate Recovery program. And I told him, I said, you know what? When I first started Celebrate here at Mercy's Cross, I started to help a bunch of people. And what I realized was is that in that process, God started changing my life because it was the first time in my life I could be open, raw, um, unrehearsed, talking about the junk in my life, the stuff I struggle with. Pastors tend to hide stuff. We tend to hide behind masks. People tend to do the same thing. Maybe you're doing the same thing. Um, Thursday night, October the 9th, I'm going to sit down in front of Celebrate Recovery and I want everybody to come. It's a, I, I want everybody to be there. Um, everybody from our church. I really would like for you to be there. And I want to share with you some of the struggles of my life. It's, and we've titled the, the message Confessions of Your Pastor. And so I'm going to confess some stuff. I'm going to talk to you about some stuff. Some stuff that's a little embarrassing. Just the thought of it right now causes me to sweat just thinking about it. But I need to share it with you because I want you to understand that for my life to change and for your life to change, it begins first with recognizing and confessing our sin. Confession literally means agreement. That's what it means in the original text and that's what God means by it. And so what I want to do is I want to help you initiate change in your life. When I'm honest and open and I'm willing to confess and I'm willing to be vulnerable and I'm willing to be transparent, what happens is that invites God in. That invites God. What I uncover, God's going to cover up. And, and, and I want to do that. Thursday night, October the 9th, I'm just encouraging you to be here on campus. We're going to meet in the Celebrate Recovery Center. They've, they're going to graciously allow me to take the platform for a little bit. And I'm going to share what's going on in my life, the, the struggles that I've had. In the past, I'm going to share the struggles that I have presently in my life. And uh, I really would like for you to be there. It would mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to this church. And I really think that you're going to see that, that revival, life change, um, amazing things happen when we first get honest with each other and get honest with God. So Thursday night, October the 9th, I hope to see you there. I really do. It's going to be spectacular if I have enough courage to live to that day. But anyway, it will be. See you then.